Welcome to my lab on configuring syslog. So this is from um, section 3 of the syllabus. You can choose any router. I normally choose for simple labs one with a fast ethernet interface. So I'll drag an 1841 across. I'll just drag a Cisco switch 2960 and a server, just a generic server. So this is all in um, Packet Tracer which is a free download if you Google Cisco Packet Tracer. So we'll need to connect these together and the idea is to configure a very simple syslog system where the events on the router are being logged over to the syslog server. Okay so fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and over from 0 slash 2 to the server. I'll click on the router and just resize it to um, a nice comfortable size for us to see. So I'll press enter, uh, no to initial config and then enter. Enable for enable mode. I just want to see what interfaces I've got. You can see when you look at the canvas, I always like to confirm. So I've got fast ethernet 0 slash 0 connected. So I'll type interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 or F for short. The IP address is 192.168.254.3 with the standard mask for a class C address. Then I'll no shut that interface, bringing it up. Won't do any configuration on the um, switch. Over to the server, I'll just click on config and then the interface. It's 192.168.254. Dot two five four, and when you click in the subnet mask, it fills it in for you. You can edit that if you want. Now on the desktop, what I want to do is go to a command prompt and ping the server to the router just to make sure I've got IP connectivity. This is a really good habit for you to have because you'll otherwise you'll end up troubleshooting and not knowing which part of your configuration is broken if you're doing access lists and routing. So ping dot three, that's all working fine. Now if you go to services and click on syslog, it should actually be turned on on the radio button, but if not, make sure you click on. So this is now enabled the syslog logging feature, so you can go in and check any logging messages that have been sent historically from the router. Now this is a bit limited on Packet Tracer, but it doesn't matter, we can still try the one command we want. Obviously logging goes from 0 to 7. We've only got level 7, which is debugging available. This is why I recommend you use a live router or at least GNS3 um, as preparation for your exams, especially if you're doing Cisco. So logging, trap, debugging. This is a setting level 7. And then I need to say logging host, which is the IP address of the server. You can log to other devices, uh, such as a, another router. But we'll set the IP address of the server. Now I could generate some debugging messages but I think automatically it will start sending messages to the server saying that login has actually been initiated. So you can see the port number and a message. I've issued the show login command just to see any output and configurations I've added. And then we can hop over to the server in a moment and see if any messages have been received over there. And there you go, you can see your login messages. It's pretty basic, but it's enough for our, for, uh, for our purposes.